Shares of First Citizens Bank shares are on the rise today. If you recall, this is the company that bought Silicon Valley Bank in late March at a deep discount. Remember, buying $72 billion uh, of, the com- of the bank's assets at a discount of $16.5 billion. It got $56 billion worth of deposits at that point. So we're getting some more details today on what that did for First Citizens. Deposits uh, in the first quarter, $140 billion ahead of estimates there. And also, we already saw Silicon Valley adding to the company's bottom line. Yeah, 30x the increase Mm. in profits that they saw for the first three months during that first quarter of 2023. uh, And that coming after the purchase, as you mentioned. Uh, Some of the additional details, net income that came in at about $9.5 billion or $653.64 a share. Um, That is up from $16.70 uh, a share same period last year. Um, And so this, of course, still, as we are continuing to watch some of the regional bank turmoil that continues to ensue right now. Yeah, and this this made First Citizens one of the top 15 banks in the nation as a result of this deal. The company says deposits are still going to drop a little bit by uh, year end for the full year, 132 to $137 billion uh, will be the total, but that's still above what uh, analysts had been estimating. And the company, as you might expect, increased its provisions for credit losses because of its acquisition of SVB. Yeah, that one of the provisions that we've seen across banks broadly over the course of the earnings season.